Hello. D6. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Listen, it's it's half past four here. Um, that's me. I'm, I'm almost through my day. Um, once again, yes, I was. But I, do you know, I had a lie in with my good lady. Got up, sat and watched some telly. Um, anybody else watch Shetland? It's a good program. Good program. Um, it's, and anyway, that's by the by. And uh, I went up to the shop to drop some stuff off to... Chaz and Joseph that work there on the Saturday. Well, Joseph works there on the Saturday. Chaz is there. And anyway, that's by the by. And and there was mail for me from the one and only Craig Harrison from Plumes of Hazard. No, sorry, I keep getting that wrong. Uh, from the Ideal Home Show. Uh, he sent me mail. He addressed it to Mark Big Timer Todd. But inside, inside, where? Mmm, plumes, plume stickers. Yeah, I got plume stickers. So, uh, well chuffed. It's it's just a shame that I never actually got these from the Plumes of Hazard guys. I just got them from, uh, you know, another show. So there we go, Plumes of Hazard. Doink, sticker up there. Um, yeah. So when I was up at the shop, um, I've not been up all week, and uh, they've got new stock in. And um, so I was looking, that cuboid looks nice, by the way. That cuboid looks really, really smart. Um, good bit of kit. Well, when I say it's a good, I've not used it. It looks a good bit of kit. Give it that. Um, but I did buy a, 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 <laughs> a Cleto. Can't call it what I was going to call it. Um, that's the, the Aspire Cleto that's on there just now. I've got a, a black rubbery cap on the top of it and um, I tell you it came with all that and um, look at the coils though I mean it is it's a carto I mean well it it looks like a carto Jesus 0 0.2 ohm 50, 55 to 70 watts the size of this thing actually I'll do this properly hang on a second bear with me till I go back to my Reviewing days. Look at that. So that's basically that's it. The coil and just a bit of glass around it. And like I said, this bit's they've got a wee rubber cap on there. It comes with different coloured ones. Um spare glass tank as well and I know now I, I, I paid, you know, twenty quid. Uh, 20 quid this is uh, the, the airflow is the airflow that I like um, <laughs> that's when I like my airflow on this tank right there so um, at, what am I at uh, 25 watts uh, I'll bump it up to 30. Live on the edge. I'm vaping uh, Muffin Man in here just now because. Long story. That's 40 to 60 watts it reckons that'll take. Let's pump it up to 40. 40 watts. See, I'm not a fan of that. I mean, I know that's... Is that the recommended range they put on that? It's kind of like saying to folk, you have to put it to 40 watts. Well, you don't have to put it to 40 watts. That's another little rant. <laughs> I might miserable bastard this week or what. Um, forget numbers. I keep saying this to folk. Forget numbers. When it comes to people come into the shop uh, and say, what wattage should I use this at? It's no such thing. Go down low. Go down, start off at 10 watts, fire it, bump it up, fire it, try it, and just keep trying it until you get to where you like it. What you like is going to be different to the rest of the people. It's what you like, not the numbers. Uh, that's just a recommendation. Jesus Christ, that's actually quite nice. Right, let's try this fully open. That 
That is really, really nice. Wow. And it's not too hot either. Oh, I could vape that. That's unusual. I don't like 40 watts. No, sir. Boo. Um, focus dance. Focus. Focus. Oh, that's it. I've broke it now. There we go. Um, so, uh, the VT133 with my Po sticker on it. Um, I really, really like this. I, I've been using this non-stop since it arrived. Uh, the, the, like the only concern I had about it was the buttons. Um, like, it's not how 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 now brown cow. Um, right, no, I'm trying to find a, a run in the mill. Uh, right, there we go. On my Darwin. You've got that kind of switch, you know, my tech type switch. It's kind of what you're, you're used to, the kind of solid, chunky, clicky type switch. This is, on this, it's just, it's just a tiny, tiny wee throw on it. And it, and it's actually quite small for a fire button. Um, but, uh, do you know what? Yeah, that's good. And... Uh, like I said before, I think the only thing that it does puzzle me is, is the finish on the inside there. That does... I don't know, because the, like this is, uh, this is 0004, so maybe this was a pre-production type one, I'm not sure. But very, very good mod. Um, for the money, um, I, would, I would buy that for around the £100 mark. DNA 200 board... Um, 133 watts. Yeah, like that. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you a story. Um, fluff up your pillows and prepare to be bored. How is that flashing? Oh, it's because I pushed the button. That's why. Um, this is my Fogatti uh, DNA 200 mod which I love. I did the review on it, used it, loved it, still love it. I was in work and I took it to bits and and dropped the board. I mean, I, I, nah, I'd taken it completely to bits. I was mucking about with it. And, and I was basically showing off and saying, yeah, you can take it to bits and it's this and it's that and it's great. It's a really, really, it's, it's not cheap, but it's a bloody good mod and the customer service is excellent. I was giving it the full waffle and uh, I, I dropped the thing and I smashed the living shit out of it. <laughs> I really did. So I emailed Dave uh, Fugatti um, and said, hello, I'm a dick. Um, and I sent him the sled back and he put a new board and a new screen in for me which arrived back this morning and I promptly fitted so that that's why you haven't seen my Fugatti on the go is because I broke it yes I broke it I'm such a nob um, and what can I put on this well uh, let's Let's well, let's screw screw in with its mile high five ten post maybe 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 oh it does the Doge um I just let see this rocker switch on this if you remember the review you know it's just it's really uh it's just I do like this. New coil. Yes. I better put some juice in it as well. Um, oh yes, I better put some juice in that. It smells a bit singy. Um, what else? Uh, nothing else arrived. Nothing else arrived. I still haven't managed to do my... <laughs> my Cortex review. And I haven't done the Chieftain review. Um, I'll... <laughs> Do you know I'm actually enjoying just coming out to the shed, just sitting, chilling out, f 
farting about and just recording this little 10 minute stuff. Oh, it's 10 minutes now. And I'm out of focus again. Um, I, I think uh, Hong uh, got a, a doge as well. I'm sure I saw. Why is my Cortana? Uh, George as well, I'm sure so far, is my Cortana on? Huh? What just happened there? Yeah, go Windows 10. My my. For some reason it picked up my Cortana started talking to me. So Cortana has decided that I said George as well, I'm sure so far, is my Cortana AM. Stupid program. Anyway, um, and he said he wasn't getting much flavour out of it. I must, I, I'll, I'll disagree on that one. Maybe it's just his build because he just got it. I did have to try a couple of builds in this to get it going well. Why is, why is that not? Oh, because it's absolutely flooded, that's why. Yes, I am a knob. Um, oh, I'll put my, my Darwin back. The other day I got all my Darwin mods down and I... Uh, Howard's Wax. Um, I've said this before, I'll say it again, because I like repeating myself. Howard's Wax, feeding wax, get it on... Um, Amazon or somewhere like that. I think it was a tenner for a bottle. That bottle will probably do me a year. Uh, but slap some of that on your wooden mods every once a week. And it's good stuff. Good stuff. Um, now, I was going to do a public service announcement. Back in the day, many, many, many moons ago, this goes back to oh, things like the... Bing... I'll put that in silent. My apologies. Um, back to the early GG stuff. Um, when you first had an adjustable airflow control. When you have a tank and you close the juice flow control off, okay, and you fill it, what you used to do with like the old Penelope's and stuff like that was you would fill it with juice and you would just put the top you would put the top cap on halfway just so that the seal had been made you turn it upside down and then close it off and then you would undo the juice flow control a couple of turns and then turn it back it's just this came up as a result i think brian mentioned this in plumes uh, as well and it was off the back of a thread. People were talking about the serpent. People were saying the juice was pissing out when they were filling it up. So, close off the airflow control. Close off the juice flow control. Open it up. Fill it. Screw the top cap back on till you feel it making contact. Turn it upside down. Close it off. Then open up the juice flow control. And then turn it up the right way. It should not pee liquid everywhere. That is basically, I take it for granted, I do that with every RTA that I fill from the top. It's just, basically if it has juice flow control or not, um, it's just a habit that I've used to and I possibly do not repeat enough. Uh, so bear that in mind, that, that'll that help you a lot. Um, uh, do you know, that's it, I, I have nothing else to say. Um, no. Oh, I watched, um, Scott, I get you. He did a review on the. No, was it that one? No, I can't remember. Was it was it the indulgence? Shit, can't remember. Was this called the indulgence? It's the same tank I've got. Um, the indulgence. Um, this big beastie. He did a review. Go and watch. It's very good review as always. But uh, he actually did the. He showed off the. The, the rebuildable section for it as well, which was very good. Um, so I like the look of that because it's quite a nice looking tank. So I'll I'll try the rebuildable head in it. I think I will end up reviewing this. I think I will just to, just a different different opinion to Scott. My opinion might be exactly the same. It might be slightly different. Uh, you never know. Um, I'm still struggling 
with the Shinjen. Um, I'm still struggling to get good flavour out of that. I'm sorry to report, I just, I'm just not feeling the love with this one. Um, which is a shame, because I really like the guy's work and his other stuff. Um, and ML class still working really, really well. Um, that's me. Guys, uh, right, I promise this is the last Shed Fever video. The last one. Back to normal reviews, weekly vlogs, and all that kind of stuff. Thank you so much for bearing with me through all this carry on. Um, I am a gibbering shite, and I can only apologise. Well, I don't apologise for that. It's who I am. Um, and thank you for all the feedback on the my little rant on temperature control. It's nice to know that some other people feel the same way. Um, I, I didn't mean to slam that. Sorry. Right. Have a nice weekend. Bye.